hi guys and thanks so much for coming back to my channel today I want to share with you a holiday Thanksgiving portion of my haul today and I really went in there to get Josiah these slippers which I'll show in one second but for this Thanksgiving I wanted to make it a lot simpler and for me I don't like the word simple because I know I am far from that even sometimes my personality um, I could be a little difficult, not difficult, um, it's just not white and black, like I might like both colors if that makes sense. <laughs> For years my mom has been telling me to do it simple, and what I'm going to do this year, and this is going to be in snippets because I'm going to do probably a grocery pickup from Walmart and then Aldi has Instacart, so today was the perfect day, that's why I ended up getting some holiday stuff to get some holiday items for Thanksgiving because it was Wednesday Josiah played his very first skills and drills it's like basketball and um, we went after that and I realized that Wednesday is a great time to go to the grocery store in the evening because there's nobody hardly in there because some people have Bible study and stuff like that or it's just everybody's at home and then it was like a chilly dri dri drizzly day so the day was an excellent day. It was hardly nobody in there. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to fight over butter, cream cheese, or anything. So I'm going to get it now. And then, um, so what I plan on doing is getting some sides, which I have been contemplating, guys, for years, even when I had surgery, guys, um, and pregnant, to get some of our sides from, like, maybe a grocery store or, or the main whole thing, the whole meal, or from a store that I know that it's good. So like I'm going to use, I'm going to get Boston Market. Um, I know their cream spinach is the bomb. I know their mashed potatoes and gravy is the bomb. They also have some other stuff that is really good. So I'm going to pick up those sides and their cornbread. And it is a little pricey, but I think it'll be worth it. And I'm also cooking in smaller quantity because I've also noticed guys over the years, from me having my surgery, um, if you're new to my channel, I had, um, guess, <laughs> the sleeve. Um, I can't even think of a technical word right now. Guess, I can't even think of it right now, guys. Oh, God, I'm a blank. But anyway, I had the sleeve. It's been two years now. My brother had it as well, and my mom had um, gastric bypass. Um, she's like post-op like a, like over five years. So we have noticed because of us and the I don't like a lot of leftovers. My brother doesn't either anymore and um, certain foods are not great leftover and they may be dry for my mom like turkey and then trying to wrap this up and then for my hubby he they will still eat trail will still eat but we noticed like because Katrell went off to school, we don't eat as much. So, I'm not cooking as much this time. Like, I'm not getting a huge turkey. I'm not getting a huge um, ham. But I'm going to give, like, lots of options. So, let's get started with this haul. I just wanted to tell you guys, kind of, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I usually cook a lot of quantity of food. But I've noticed, even the first year... I got really tired of that food really quickly and um you know and then my family will go back to it but then after a while they got tired of it too so it's gonna be smaller in quantity and some up something else but if I remember I'll just say it okay so I did pick up some Hawaiian rolls I didn't want to have to fight or you know get the last one or whatever get the last one is fine but I didn't want to have to fight for it so I did pick up one of these though I'm going to get the cornbread from Boston Market is $4.99 for a dozen and they do sell rolls too but we didn't really get that too much I know we used to go to Boston Market almost every Sunday after church one time we would go through our phases it would be Zaxby's then it would be Ryan's or to go to Corral it was just different ones Smithfield's so um but I just picked these up to have these on hand these are $1.99 I believe guys yeah, they're at least $1.99. They may be a little bit cheaper, but I think they're $1.99. Some of you have asked for prices, and I'll try to remember, but my memory is not as good as it used to be. Okay, so the sharp cheddar cheese, I did go ahead and pick up one of those 
for mac and cheese if I decide to do that because I don't want to fight over it again. It was $1.99. As well, the cherries, um, this was low already. And they only had a handful of these and this was $1.99 as well. The Caesar salad kit, my hubby loves these. And they're really good and convenient if you're just trying to you know have a lunch real quick you come down here you're starving you might not have breakfast or whatever which is usually my issue now but my husband loves to come down here and get him a big bowl and he'll add croutons well croutons come with it um cheese and yeah croutons caesar dressing and then usually i oh i should have got some today get the parmesan chicken or some kind of chicken tenders and throw in there and then we'll boil some eggs and chop it up in there so i picked up two of those then I also picked up some sweet condensed milk. This was a dollar twenty nine. I want to say, guys, or a dollar. It wasn't fifty nine cent. The evaporated milk was fifty nine cent, and I already have some, so I didn't need any more. The cream cheese off the top of my head. I had the flyer. I think it was sixty nine cents. So I went ahead and got three of those. If I need it for a recipe, some of these staples you should have anyway, and I usually get sixty nine cent. So, um, you can freeze it as well. And I also noticed, guys, and I hate I missed out. This week is okay. On the back of the fly, they have these seven-day savers as well. And I see they have the boys or my hubby's pizza on here, the $149. That's a great price. So, I have to remember to, it's only six, a limit of six per customer. I think that's the only thing I see. But last week, they had the block cheese cream cheese um some chicken sausage and i can't think what else guys and i tell you i wish that i forgot twice i went in there twice even yesterday and still forgot okay so i picked up three of these i picked up the butter you guys know i pick up the carry gold i love the carry gold but i need to go probably to costco and get a bigger thing but for $1.99, you cannot beat this to freeze it. And I picked up the unsalted and the regular sweet cream salted. And the unsalted I usually use in my um, stuffing. And also, guys, I didn't tell you. I keep forgetting when I film a video to let you know that I have a Thanksgiving guide. Oh, and by the time you probably get this video, it will be too late. But you know what? I'll just do this in snippets so you guys can get it. And a Thanksgiving guide, you can download that. It's in PDF. And it gives you like staples for your pantry for the fall and staples for Thanksgiving and menu ideas. And some of my favorite re recipes, like my favorite stuffing and my favorite roasted chick roasted turkey. But I have a new one that I want to share with you guys too. I picked up the pineapple slices. They're always picked over whatever holiday. These were a dollar, I believe. And then yesterday, I had to run some errands. And I just called Jason to see what he needed from the store. And they just said, Dad ran to the store right quick. So I called him. And um, he was in Aldi. And I was like, where at? Because I'm in Aldi. It was funny. But he went in there to get some coffee, which I was getting him some. But he picked up the wrong kind. He picked up the caramel salted and... Um, he meant to get the caramel cappuccino. So he's been wanting to do this instead of those five hour energy drinks, which I'm glad he's doing. And um, so I picked this up for him and it was $3.99. Some pure sugar. I think this is $1.69. I'm surprised it was not cheaper. And then I picked up some buttermilk biscuits. They are 99 cents. The pure canola oil. This was $1.85, I believe. And then yesterday, I saw the 7-Up cake, and I picked up one today, and I'm going to freeze this for Thanksgiving, and they're only $3.99, guys. It's really good, so take caution. <laughs> it's really good. And, of course, they have the variety cake and all that, and I think the past couple of years, I think for Christmas and Thanksgiving, I did some desserts, but I said I was shortcut route, so. Okay. So I picked up a turkey breast and I think a couple weeks ago I did a grocery haul and I told you guys that I wanted to try this turkey recipe. It turned out fantastic. Let me see if I can find it for you right quick. These are $8.99. $8.99. I may pick up another one 
and I don't think I'm gonna get a traditional turkey and I'm gonna slow cook this and this was so good in my kasori but really you can use any slow cooker and this was really good I picked up some pure cane pure cane light brown sugar and this was 85 cents I believe it was a 99 cents I think it was 85 cents and I picked up a ham and this is not the largest one and I noticed the past couple of times it took them forever to eat the ham but I did have a humongous one and I don't know they just my crew I know trails not here but I didn't realize how much trail was eating um, to but let's see it was a dollar thirty I'm sorry nine thirty seven it's one nineteen a pound and this is I like the shank portion bone in ham and then season it that way what am I talking about seasoning and just season it up okay I really don't have a really recipe I kind of just eyeball with the turk with the um ham and it's really good let's see this is the book I got southern living what's for supper and Michael Sori's out because I used it yesterday let's see that's all those cords you see over here but this recipe I think I showed it oh man I showed it before and it was so good and it's so effortless because I am not I'm gonna take a break this time this season I'm gonna get my decorations done I'm really gonna enjoy let me see if I can find I really want to enjoy the holiday with my family. I don't want to. Because I don't. Guys, I know on my channel, you guys probably know that I usually cook. And I'll have these hauls that you see what I cooked. And then, um, and then years before that. So, I really want to enjoy taking the moment. Enjoy it with my family. And it doesn't have to be that huge layout every single time, you know. Even if one year, maybe we go on a cruise one year, maybe one year we go to Disney, maybe one year we um, go out to eat or whatever, you know. And so it doesn't have to be this whole entire spread that I slaved over. Though it's nothing wrong with that, but I can take a break sometimes. So, okay, so this right here, the turkey breast and herb cornbread stuffing, this is bomb. So if you can screenshot, let's see. Pause that or something. This was amazing. And then the last part. And then I think this was, I don't know what this was over here. But yeah, guys. the bottom part that's the top part I don't think I missed nothing and here are the ingredients and it may not have your house smelling like turkey like how it's roasted in the oven but it still had it smell like turkey and I mean it was good it was good for me my husband I think they liked it but I didn't have like all the fix I just made like this and maybe some rice but I think they liked it, but it was good. And I'm really picky, but it was seasoned well. I may have added my own seasoning to it. I don't remember. Because sometimes I'm like, that's not enough seasoning <laughs> based off the recipes. But anyway, I went in there, guys, to get Josiah these Paw Patrol slippers. I was talking about this last week. And I got him the 9 to 10 size. He's going to wear one, and he's going to wrap the other one. Or I'm going to wrap up the other one, and it's going under the tree. And the Mickey Mouse. And for the girls... They had Minnie Mouse, and I don't remember. It might have been Paw Patrol, but it might have been the girl. And I can't think of her name right now. Is it Sky? I can't remember her name. But that's it, guys. Oh, and I want to share with you guys this. Because I didn't really share. I did, but I didn't open it. So I think all the other pots, this lady was standing in the way. All the other pots are gone. This is amazing. Y'all, I know... Um. I showed the cast iron pans and stuff, but this one right here, oh, I cooked eggs in this the other day. This Crofton, this is the largest frying pan. This, I love this. And I'm going to see if they have some more when I go back in. I wasn't even thinking about it today. I was thinking about the chopper. 
but this is nice so this is what it looks like I didn't take it out of the packaging in the last haul but um yeah this is a nice pan it really is but guys that's all that I have I think I'm just go ahead and upload this I was going to do it in different parts and make it one long one but so you guys will be aware of that Thanksgiving guide I'll go ahead and link that below yeah link that below and in a card or you can go on my blog and see it as well and also I have a teen teenage boy <laughs> gift guide as well and I want to come out with um maybe two or three more as well before the season okay guys so thanks so much for watching liking um commenting and subscribing and have a great start to your holiday season bye bye